All too often in ARK, people like taking the black pill. The idea that, oh, ARK used to be so much better. For the record, that's not true, but today I was just believing that. I missed the wipe by a couple of days, so I thought today was going to be even worse. I logged in and, god damn, did I have a ball. Let me show you guys what a good day in ARK looks like for me, despite its best efforts to stop me. This guy wearing fucking shit. I had discovered something previously thought extinct back in 2017. Players wearing shit and armor. Are you trying to surrender a free kit to me? What are you trying to get up to? Oh, you're just standing there. What's up, man? Oh, sword? Thank you. I'll be taking that. Seems I just found out why this breed of players had gone extinct. Jesus, man. Are you even trying? Making Chen armor? Remember his name. Big man water round two. At this point I can hear a raptor. He must be trying to bring something out of that pen. What? I'm gonna kill this piece of shit little fucking raptor. At this point my health's all kinds of fucked up. So I'm gonna go hide in a bush and, you know, if he wants to door camp me, that's fine. He's not getting in. So, like I said, I just chill out in a bush and he paces aimlessly around my base waiting for me to come back. I was right, he didn't have any explosives. Eventually, once he feels nice and safe, it's time to strike. And I'm a man of my word, that little fucking raptor's getting chopped up into bits. I must have a particularly terrifying presence if killing a simple level 18 raptor is enough to send a man running. Look at him go running. And here he goes and does that. So now we're not allowed to have any fun in this game. As you can tell, I'm not particularly pleased with the strategy he decided to pull. Basically it's an old classic where you push two rafts together and now I can't get inside of my raft, but he can't get into it either, so all he's really doing is wasting our time. Oh, and trust me, he wasted plenty of time. I decide, fuck it, I'm gonna jump on his raft to see what kind of damage I do. Luckily for me, I find a box full of basically junk, but me despawning it is actually enough to get him moving. I take this opportunity to get in my raft and get the fuck away from this weirdo. But like Jared Fogel at a playground, the fucker just won't stop following me. So I push my raft into the wall. A little bit of a questionable strategy, but I don't feel too bad for pulling out on this guy. And I wait to see what his play is from his strange ass fucking pedo raft. And we just sort of sat there for like 10 fucking minutes having a Mexican standoff where like I'm not leaving my protection and he's not really doing anything so we're again just kind of wasting time. But when opportunity rings, you pick up the phone. <laughs> And 
just like that, thanks to some random beach bob trying to punch him out, I've gotten another set of chitin armor. Thanks for the help, buddy. But there was actually one issue. I was stuck in a small little enclosed space inside his pedo raft, and I didn't like how that sounded. But I did still have a decent kit now from him, so I was going to wait and see what I could do. It's just ridiculous. I don't understand how a player can be this fucking bad. Well, I was just now trapped in a different room of the labyrinth of a fucking raft he has, but at least I had a little more room this time. And I was near where he had to go to move the raft. Roughly five minutes later, I heard him outside. Maybe he was gonna be nice and let me out. <laughs> fucking idiot. You've gotta be shitting me. God damn it, dude. All that guy had to do was just take like a... 10 minute break and I was probably starved to death in there. At that point, the guy was so humiliated he just logged off and last I checked his raft was still sitting in the exact same spot. Hour later and his raft is still there. One Bob successfully rage quitted via me. I'm a god. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh. Look at my fucking health. Those fucking piranhas almost got me. I don't even know what to say. Well, I guess that's what I get for being a good Samaritan and dropping the wood out of the beaver dam. Next time, I'll make sure to not make that mistake. Ah, oh, Jesus, look at that. There's a guy with the wyvern, look. All my beach bob fun always seems to get ruined by people who are more geared than me. <coughs> ah, seems like this kind gentleman would like to have a word or two with me. I'm sure he has very many interesting things to say. Maybe if I talk to him, we can have a peaceful resolution. The chat just blown mine is his. Check out his tribe name. I don't know what that buff is, but all it does is make it look like he shit himself. He's pulling the oldest bluff in the book, where he says, Open the door, or I blow it open. He doesn't have explosives, but I'll play along. If I can get him in my house with the door closed, he's wearing hide armor, just like I am. And he'll be away from his wyvern which is the only real advantage he has in this fight. He's a little skittish when I open the door though, so I gotta make sure not to pull any false moves that'll make him run back to his wyvern. <laughs> At this point he pulls a bowl on him, but I close the door behind him and he's smart enough to realize he's in a shitty situation. So he's gonna have to act like my friend again. Fuck it, why not play with my food a little bit? I know this guy's fucked. At this point, the gravity situation kicks in for him, and realizing flight's not an option, I guess he thinks it's time to fight. Okay, um... What have you got for me, my friend? Not too much on him, just some decent level tools that I guess I'll take. One of the issues now though is that I have him in here, I gotta keep him asleep or he's gonna spawn outside and get back to his wyvern. He was of course kind enough to come with a few narco berries already on him. With my new uninvited guest now decently sedated, and all of his items put into a box, it was time to address the elephant, or more aptly, wyvern, in the room. Or more accurately, out of it. Yeah, cut that shit out, that sucks. If I can just keep him knocked out. Yep, it's on passive. Using a new Ascendant Hatchet that I had gotten off of him, I would use it to chop up his own wither. That thing wasn't even going to do anything to fight back. 
And he thought that if he kissed my ass, I'd stop butchering his wyvern. While he was listening to me, like an actual cuckold. I was just gonna let this guy do his thing, but... Oh, and some beach bob decided to join in the festivities. The misspelled message practically tells a tale of a man begging. At this point, he was just trying to get anybody he could to come and help him out. I hope you learned your lesson, buddy. We could have just cooperated, but, um... I don't know, maybe don't leave your wyvern on passive if you're gonna get knocked out. It doesn't seem like the move to me. Honestly, I can't really think of too many more embarrassing ways to lose a level 238 blood wyvern. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe. I really enjoyed making this video, and let me know if you guys enjoyed this style of video because like i said earlier this was a fucking hoot to make